My name is Danae Lawrence, and I am a senior at Mount Vernon Nazarene University studying music and worship, and I am from Youngstown, Ohio. I think that music is, first of all, one of God's greatest gifts to the planet. <laughs> um, it's the reason why I dedicated my life to it. When I was very little, um, I would come home from church on Sundays and I would start to play um, melody lines from the songs that we sang at church that morning on my little um, Mickey Mouse plastic keyboard, probably had about 10 keys on it. And um, my mom would just look at me and say, how are you doing that? There's no music, how do you hear that? And I was like five, so I don't really remember doing that, but she tells me all the time. About five years later, so when I was around 10 or 11, we ended up getting a piano from a family member. And it was really old, it was pushing 100 years old, but um, I fell in love with it right then. And I started lessons pretty soon after that, and I took them until um, freshman year of high school. And I just never stopped playing after that, so. It, it became something for me um, something very special because I was never an athlete and all my siblings for the most part played some kind of sport um, and some of my sisters had a lot of friends and I didn't have very many friends so the music for me was more what formed me as um, a teenager I think and what gave me an escape when I needed to get away from all my family and everything like that. I was very shy, very closed off kind of person, especially like my middle school years. And so it wasn't until I went to high school that I finally was in a real choir and I wanted to stand like kind of in the back, you know, didn't want to um, sing out. I didn't really read a lot of music so vocally and everything. And my choir director by my sophomore year basically forced me to sing a solo and I was really mad. Um, but if she hadn't, I probably wouldn't be anywhere near what I'm doing now. So I'm very thankful for that. The reason why I chose the music and worship track was because I have always had a, um, a heart for worship ministry in, in churches and especially in like youth group age. And so I thought that if I did that kind of um, track, I would get all of the basic music knowledge, like theory and sight reading and all of that with the worship classes. And so that's the major I ended up with. As a music major, you are required to do a senior recital. You do about an hour of music and you perform it all and it's a really, really, really big deal. Um, my recital is a bit unique in the fact that I am a composition major. I write the music for the performers to play at the recital. There was one day, I think, Danae just like runs up to me like really excited about something. She just grabs me and she literally drags me into one of the practice rooms and plays me this song. I want to say that this was her first like complete original song. Composition is really hard in that you can't just work on it for half hour and put it away. It takes like at least an hour to get into the work and then you only have you know so long to do that, that kind of work. A lot of people ask me, like, how do you spend all this time on music and not hate it because it's so frustrating? And I, would, I wouldn't say that I never thought that music wasn't worth it. I think there's been a lot of times where I think I'm not worth the, the music. I think Danae's biggest obstacle uh, might be uh, confidence in her own ability. She really has a lot to offer, but she is her own worst critic. Um, I think there's no way I can write a song like Beethoven or like Yuruma, who's one of my favorite composers ever, or um, like all of these movie um, composers that write Lord of the Rings and like all these amazing breathtaking scores, and there's no way I'm just writing these little ensembles, you know. 
Now that's not uncommon among artists. Many artists, that is exactly true. You will not find anyone who is harder on them than they are on themselves. And, uh, you know, she might come in, especially in the early days of us working together, she might come in and just, you know, be like, oh, I'm so sorry, this is so terrible, terrible. And it really wasn't terrible at all. But, you know, uh, so there's a sense of confidence and beginning to trust your own creative instincts. So, so there are definitely times where I think that I'm not worth the music, but I think that the music is completely worth it all the time, is whether or not I can reach the music level, I think. Realistically, my job will most likely be at a church because that is the major I have. So finding a church that is somewhat close to maybe how I grew up um, in a more um, charismatic kind of denomination, that would be ideal for me um, and leading teams and planning services. And I think that, that I can be satisfied doing that. If she does decide to plan in some sort of ministry, whether that's a church ministry or whether that's in a in a music ministry of some sort that supports the church and worship, uh, she's going to have a lot to offer in terms of that creativity. My creative outlet is writing and playing music, and I think that um, God has shown me a lot about creativity and about um, excellence and about hard work through music, and I think that He's just shown me what sheer beauty and emotion can look like, how raw it can be, and I think that um, there's a reason why there's a whole book of the Bible called Psalms where it's all music, and I, I think that God really cares about music, and that's why we have the ability to do it. Um, God has also really used music to speak to me countless, countless times. There's no way I can even probably pinpoint a time right now because of how many songs there are that just it's hard to explain, but they just like get under your skin and they don't leave you. And so I think that that's one of God's primary ways of speaking to me is through um, music and especially like scripture set to music that really helps me to understand. Because God is the ultimate creator and he gives us a creative ability, that is the way that we can be God's image in the world.